Hi guys. I was gonna do a live, but then um, I decided not to. So I figured I would make this little video for you guys. So um, today um, is fish day in my house. And if you guys don't know, I am allergic to fish. So whenever my husband has fish, um, I'll usually cook something else for myself. So that's what is going on. So today, I'm in the mood for stuffed peppers. Like, I don't know why, I'm just in the mood for some stuffed peppers. Like, I really want stuffed peppers today. I'm just in the mood for corn and cheese and all of that yumminess, which by the way, it's all stuff that my husband ate, hates, okay? He does not like, well, he doesn't like sweet corn. He does love maize. Like, the corn here in Tanzania and the corn that I'm used to is completely different. And I can't really get with the whole maize thing. It's just not my favorite. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm in the mood for. I am in the mood for some stuffed peppers and some cornbread. Um... By the way, the cornbread that I love is, y'all know, Jiffy's. Okay, so if you coming out here, bring me some Jiffy cornbread, please. Um, I've never actually tried to make homemade um, cornbread. I'm just, I got my peppers and I'm going to just, you know, shape out my peppers so I can stuff them. Um... I never made homemade cornbread. If you have a cornbread recipe that is a bum, okay, um, comment below and maybe I will actually try it. But every cornbread that I've had has not been up to the par like Jiffy's. Like, so if you know your cornbread is bomb and you're like, no, Diamond, like you got to try my cornbread, then comment below. Comment below. You see, so I'm just stuck with Stuff it out, make it real pretty. I've already washed it. And then I got my little, just because it's me, I just got a little bit of ground beef that's defrosted. I'm gonna put my onions in there, some garlic, some garlic. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. conversation with somebody about my last video which is my data video um put a little salt in there and then i'm gonna put a little cumin um yeah i had a conversation with somebody in my last video basically oops, oops stop flying at me um basically about you know um, having a daughter in the house, you know, um, and this person was like that it is not common around the world to have a daughter and they're incompletely wrong because it is common. It's very common to have a daughter, especially here in Tanzania. You know, my husband is, I mean, how do you think um, people work? You know, people, they have to work. They have to um, make a living, you know? They have to make a living. And how do you think that that happens? People make a living. People make a living. You know what I'm saying? People have kids to feed. They got their families to feed. They got, you know, they got things going on. And this person clearly... Even though they said the world travels, I don't think so. Even in the U.S., 
the problem is, is that in the U.S., a lot of us cannot afford to have nannies and house workers and stuff like that. But people who can't afford it, they got it. Oh, trust and believe, they got it. Trust and believe, they got it. So, um, yeah, but as you guys know, I'm always up for discussion. I'm always up to have a conversation and to debate with people. However, listen, there are a lot of people who come out here and have this mentality that Africa needs saving when it doesn't. Like, stop it. Like, completely stop it. Africa does not need saving just because um, people out here live differently than you does not mean that it needs saving. That kills me. It kills me when people say things like that. Um, absolutely kills me. If anything, I feel like the Western world needs saving. Because, you know, <laughs> if things get real out here in the world, who you think is going to survive? Western people don't know, how, don't know how to survive. My husband know where he going based off reading off the stars. You think that the average person in the West knows how to do that? No, they don't. Half people in the West don't even know how to make a fire, okay? Who you think out here be saving? Not them. It's quite annoying. Um, and you know what I'm saying? And one thing that I truly hate is like when people have a lot to say, but they're not about it. You know what I'm saying? And that could be the New York in me. But I just feel like, listen, listen, with my consultations, with my work and all of that stuff. I cannot tell you how many people, how many Tanzanians I have given a job to. I mean, when I'm talking about shipment stuff, when I'm talking about lawyers, when I'm talking about datas, when I'm talking about gardeners, security guards, I have given so many people jobs. So, like, I, I, I'm i not trying to, you know, toot my own horn, but, like, toot toot, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't sit here and tell me, don't sit here and tell me that I'm wrong for giving people jobs. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, you sitting here, you sitting here commenting below under my stuff, and um, you ain't giving nobody a job. How is you commenting saying that this is bad helping anybody? Listen, I cannot tell you how many people I know, okay, that either can't work because they have kids or whatever issues they may have that need sponsoring. So, like, if you're one of those people who's going to be commenting how bad it is and all this stuff, why don't you sponsor somebody? Sponsor a woman with a bunch of kids who you don't want to be a dada, okay? Or some, or create some jobs. But you commenting and saying that this is so bad and this is not good and all of this stuff, it ain't helping them. I can say that right now. It ain't helping them. It ain't helping them, okay? It's not. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here trying my best to give, listen, I'm not, I'm not about to sit here and tell, you have never heard out of my mouth that I came out here to help people and to save the world and all that stuff. Uh-uh, that don't come out of my mouth. However, if I can help one person, I feel good about myself. And that's not even here in Africa, that's anywhere, even in the States. If I can help one person in the state, then I feel like, okay, I'm all right, I'm doing something. You know what I'm saying? But you can't save everybody. Can't save everybody. And, um, yeah, you can't save everybody. And, um, it ain't, it ain't no help with you just sitting there off the key talking about this ain't good. I don't like this. This is not, this is not a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so what are you doing? What are you doing about it? Are you giving somebody a job? So then what happens to the girls who are young, who have no education, who can't afford school fees. What happens to the mamas who have a bunch of kids who can't be that eyes or who's looking for that a job, who, who needs some assistance? What happens to them? And the only way that they can make a living to feed their children is through being a dada. What happens to them? Come on now, you got all that mouth? Put your mouth where your money is. Put your money where your mouth is, that's what I meant. <laughs> Hold on, y'all.
one. Um, Bika, put your put your money where your mouth is. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be sitting here preaching on the internet and then you ain't doing that. And then you wanna and then you wanna knock somebody else for trying to do something. Like, how that work? How? I don't understand folks sometimes. Why are you knocking somebody else for trying to do something? guys know that I'm very open to hearing what people have to say when it's validated. So if you got something to say and you have a solution, oh yes, oh yes, I am completely willing to hear you out and the things that you have to say. Oh yes, I am, 100%. But you don't have a solution, you just complaining. And I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for somebody who just sitting there complaining. But I love you guys, you know? Listen, I am, I, I have nothing but love for people. Like, we may have a different opinion, but that don't mean that, like, you know, there's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's okay, we got different opinions. I am grown. I can be able to have a different opinion with somebody and still 100% respect them and still be, you know, still not have a problem with them. So for the person who, the person who comments and doesn't agree with me, it's all right, it's all love, baby. It's all love. It's all love. It's, it just means that we don't agree and that's okay. That's, that's, that's a part of the world. <laughs> you don't agree with people. That's all right. That's all right to not agree. I'm finna stuff my peppers. Let's see if y'all can see what's going on here. All right, so I got my pepper. I'm finna stuff her. I think I might actually make another pepper too. Um, Cause I got way more meat than I anticipated. So I can always eat it tomorrow for lunch. Oh yes, I love me some leftovers. Leftovers is the way. But I notice a lot of Tanzanian people don't like leftovers. What's up with that? A lot of people don't like leftovers. I don't know what's going on with that. Me? I love me some leftovers. I don't have any problem with leftovers. Okay. So I gotta cut this again. For my oh, I completely messed that one up. My bad. Still gonna eat it though. Still gonna eat it. Have you guys checked out my bagel video? First of all, when I made that video, it warmed my heart because I was debating if that was even something I should do. I remember talking to you guys about it, like, oh, do you guys want content with me cooking and stuff? And um, a lot of you guys said yes, you know, because I was like, basically the argument was like, you can completely get the same stuff here as you would in the States. 
you just have to work a little harder for it. And I asked if you guys wanted to see how I still am able to enjoy my things from the West. Ooh, y'all, hold on. Baby crying. Hold on. I got to wash these uh, peppers. Hold on, y'all. All right, so I just washed my peppers. Checked on my baby, of course. And now I'm going to stuff these last peppers. I should have asked my friend if she wanted some stuffed peppers, but I didn't know I was going to have this much. It's all right. Oh, yeah. I'm, like, drooling because I'm really excited. All right. And then here's my last little pepper. It's perfect. Four peppers. Mind you, I only used a very little bit of ground beef. Very little bit, and yeah, I still got four peppers. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. My baby girl is upset. She just woke up from a nap, y'all. So she wants some milk. So I'm going to grate some cheese because I got to have cheese, okay? All right, so this is my stuffed peppers. Mm -hmm. I'm about to grate this cheese, add that cheese on here, and we are going to be golden. All right, so let's grate that cheese. See, as a mom, you need to work quick. Because when these kids start acting up, you're like, oh my God, I can't finish dinner. So, you gotta work quick, so. My baby is complaining. So I'm about to finish this, throw this in the oven. So that way I can cater to her. Oh my God, so now I like cheesy, okay? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just gonna add some extra cheese. Cause why not? Why not? Mind the business that pays you. Okay? Why not add that extra cheese? Why not? Why not? Because I cut down on cheese a lot. Um, only because Tanzanian tans cheese is very expensive. Um, and also, I don't know, I just haven't been wanting cheese like that. All right, mama, I'm coming right now. All right, I am done. I'm going to show y'all a clip of what we're looking at. I'm going to put this in the oven. And then I'm going to feed baby. And then um, I'm going to come back and make the cornbread, y'all. All right? All right. All right. My bad, you guys. You know, <laughs> it's how it is when you a mom. Um, I already um, put the cornbread inside. Um, I just made, you know, Jiffy normal cornbread. Um, I followed the instructions. There was nothing special about it. I promise guys. Um, I put that in the oven. So I'm just waiting for everything to be done. And then, um, I'm going to tear it up. I'm going to show you guys also what Hope is eating. He is eating samaki with ugali and vegetables. Um, <laughs> and I'm having stuffed, um, peppers because I feel like it. <laughs> um but yeah guys um that's kind of um what i'm up to today um thank you guys so much for showing love i appreciate all your prayers i appreciate just all the love that you guys have been giving me like for real like i really do tomorrow i am going out and i have so much content 
um, coming out. I'm really excited about tomorrow. Um, I'm going to film with a few people that I know you guys are really going to enjoy. Really helpful information um, about here in Tanzania. So I know that you guys are really, really, really going to enjoy it. Um, I have another video coming out. Um, I think it's on Thursday. I'm not sure. Sometime this week. I have to check again. Um, another helpful video that you are go guys are going to find really helpful. So um, I told you guys I am back. I am back and I am in full effect. Okay. I am back and I am on my ish. Okay. Um, shooting it has now became a priority to me again. And I am... We out here, y'all. We are out here. How's you guys' day going? What's going on? Um, I'm about to show you guys the results of how I'm looking, and I'm finna tear it up, okay? All right, y'all. So this is what Hope is eating. Some ugali, fresh fish, and fish. Yum. If I wasn't allergic to fish, trust and believe I would be up in here. all over the place because that's how I like it okay got my cornbread and then I got my stuffed peppers I put some extra cheese up in there because that's my business and um I, I already took a bite here y'all I forgot I forgot I was filming y'all I'm not gonna lie <laughs> all right that's the end all right that's the end of my video I hope you guys have a blessed night I hope you guys have an absolute blessed night I'm feeling really good. I'm about to go eat with my husband and cuddle up, watch a movie, and knock out. You guys have a great night. I love you guys. I will see you guys later. Bye.